and its brightness you know and you know as as we touch on that topic right now the amount of chariots being sighted you know the can't even keep up you know they're starting to say a lot of strange things out there that the can't even begin to explain <laughs> you know he's so baffled there's a ship to say perplexity upon all nations <laughs> they're confounded they're confused <laughs> Certainly does, virgin daughter of Babylon. Okay. That does in your eyes right now, Esau. It says his glory covered the heaven and the earth was full of his praise. And his brightness was as the light. He had horns coming out of his hand and there was the, the hitting of his power. Okay. Hmm. He horns them laser beams. Going to look up the meaning of the word horns, it goes back into bright beams. Bright beams coming out of your hand. Now when the most high open up the chariots and zap people. That is what it was talking about. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And a great a great definition of it is um Independence Day. Okay. You know? When um not not a new one, but the old one. Old one. The okay. old one. When when the chariots was over the buildings and it was making mockery. You know when the people was making mockery. And that that is Esau today. Esau, Esau does make mockery of the angels as, as green aliens, you know, with some bubble heads, you know, but yeah. that, that, is the, that is the angels in the chariots, That's right. you know, so, yeah, as the scripture is saying, um, Job 15 verse 5, their own mouth shall tell upon themselves, that is you was telling upon yourself, okay. you was making mockery, you understand, but the most I have about Shem Yahushai, as you go in tight, you're reviving the work. And these same things that they are making mockery of is the same thing that is coming to destroy your kingdom. Okay. It's what it goes on to says. And his brightness was as the light. He had horns coming out of his hand, and there was the heading of his power. Mm -hmm. It says, Before him went the pestilence, and burning coals went forth at his feet. Mm -hmm. You know, before him. Because Yahweh Ba Hashem Yahushai prophesied that the nuclear bomb Simon Simon Thomas Simon Taylorly nuclear bombs gonna be flying and when something come with a force you know like when you're watching these movies you know you see like if a, a media stone fall into the earth you just see like a, a burning something in front of it yeah. you know okay. so that is that force that gonna come with our Lord yeah. did you skip this say if I can read this real quick yeah um. Isaiah 66. Are you dying, man? 8 to 10. 8 to 10? Yeah. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> we reach up the road there quicker. Oh, um, Isaiah 66. I'm fucking out for our exactly 8 to 10. Yeah, exactly. Oh. What, boy? For what the fuck can you have like? Show me what's it, man. You can't. I'll drive you down my lights. <laughs> <laughs> Oh this is um, Isaiah 66 and verse 15 it says For behold, Yahweh Hashem Yahushai will come with fire And with the chariots like a whirlwind So what are you all coming with? Fire! When them chariots coming before him, it's fire going to come You understand? Okay. It says With the chariots like a whirlwind to render his anger with fury And his rebuke with flames of fire God yeah, that were coming, that, that, that the days were coming. When the Lord returns, there's fire going to be on this earth. The scripture said, We will have come to send fire on the earth. What will I have if it be already kindled? Alright, the Lord coming to bring fire on the earth. That's right. That's right. Hmm. And that is, that is hell. That is the hell that you Christians believe. When you die, you're going. The hell is not. When you're dead, you're going to meet it. It's coming and meet all you're here. Hell coming right here on earth. What you think is hell? You go and burn and burn and burn and burn. That you are coming and meet all you. You know, don't die to meet it at all. Coming and meet all you right here. Hmm. And the Lord come and burn up every fucking living thing that offend. Living hell? Yeah. Coming to the earth. Damn, my man. A guy for one way to say, um, the, the day is coming. That the day coming that shall burn as an oven. That is hell. That is what, that is what hell is. Well, let not believe in, in hell. Hell hell not real. We're going to burn up forever and ever. That's not real. No. That, that myth. And 
Yeah, and, and the, the, that's the other way of saying, you know, they say hell is a bottomless pit. If hell is a bottomless pit, then Satan's supposed to continually be falling. Conti exactly. You know, he, he, he have no solid grounds to come out of there. Can. So, it just, it just debunking that it, also. It's correct. It's just folly. You people like folly too much. A mat. And fairy tale. A mat. Bible is not a storybook or a fairy tale, but it's actual um, living things that took place on the earth documented in the scriptures mm. and things to come. That's right. That is, that is what documented in the scriptures. That's right. So fire, the hell, is the fire which is to come. Anyhow, yeah, shall I speak about hellfire and hellfire and the Lord talk about hellfire. But the scriptures don't say hellfire. That talking about what is to come. Can. Right? Can. Hmm. Yeah, what you have a piece of it? Yeah, I'm it says verse 6, it says he stood and measured the earth. He beheld and drove asunder the nations. And the everlasting mountains were scattered. And the perpetual hills did bow. His ways are everlasting. Hmm. And speaking about our Lord, the perpetual mountain, that is what he showed. The ones that have ruled for a very long time. You know, with the Roman Empire and you know the rebirth of the empire which is here today. You know, it revived. You know, the deadly wounds were healed. And the Haoba Hashem Yahushua is coming to remove that mountain. Okay. He's coming to remove it with great wrath. And then what we can see, lining up perfectly in these times. You know, he said, okay. I saw the tents of cushion in affliction, and the curtains of the land of Midian, they trembled. Was the Lord displeased against the rivers? Was thy anger against the rivers? Was thy wrath against the sea that thou didst ride upon thy horses and thy chariots of salvation? So when the most I come with that heat, that heat that's going to be taking place, that will just say this here, um, Second Peter chapter 3 and verse 10. It says, Bam, bam, bam. But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night, in that which in that which the heavens shall pass away with great noise, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat, and the earth also, and the works that are therein shall be burnt up. Good. Yeah, we're coming. That is exactly it. Right? Missiles flying, everything going to be fucking on fire. Anything remaining on this earth? Well, it's primarily in the United States. Going and burn every any, anything. Certain places in Europe, right? The land of Israel. Anything, anything remain there? Going and burn up any fucking thing. Then going on nothing remaining. My Zam, Tatina, Zam, seventeen, Baba Kosha. Isaiah chapter 13 and verse 17 and it reads it says Behold I will stir up the meads against them which shall not regard silver And that meads in talking about the ancient meads Now that I'm talking about the Russians That the Russians that means is the Russians because um, I can't remember how Apostle I let her broke it down but I believe he said the landmass around that area there, where Russia is, meet, meet the Medes or the sons of Japheth own there. Alright? And the Medes is sons of Japheth. Mm -hmm. So that is why they represent the Russians today. Mm -hmm. When you continually read it, you're going to see why. Koma mm -hmm. is one of Japheth's sons. He says, um, reading on, he says, Seventeen. Yeah, it says, "I am behold, I will stir up the meats against them which shall not regard silver, and as for gold, they shall not delight in it. Mm -hmm. Their bows also shall dash the young men to pieces." Ah, like them missiles, like them missiles on them. Go ahead. It says, 
and they shall have no pity on the fruit of the womb. Yeah, we got them go and care about your kids. Your, your, your wives, not your little daughter who now born, who now turned four years. And you know, keep her birthday party for she. We go and give a fuck about that. They'll kill that, they'll kill your little son. Them missiles drop, them and care about who, who, who is you. I'm mad. Son, go ahead. Hey, like, like right now, presently, over in um, Palestine and Gaza, right. they don't have an article how they stop killing our children. God. It goes on to say, it says, the eye shall not spare children. It says, and Babylon, the glory of kingdoms, the beauty of the Chaldees, Excellency shall be as when you have Bashim Yahushai overthrow Sodom and Gomorrah. See? That is how it's going on me. And that talking about this Babylon. That not talking about ancient Babylon. Because mm. ancient Babylon never um, had that kind of destruction. Mm. We could read about that. We could read about ancient you know, Babylon again. We could read about what happened in the two Babylons in the scriptures. Okay. The first Babylon, the Lord destroyed when he confounded their language. And the second kingdom that called itself Babylon with Nebuchadnezzar and them. You could read about the writing on the wall and Darius the Mede coming and taking over the kingdom. Okay. But this Babylon prophesied with this Mede, these Medes, which is the, the Russians, as I was saying. This, they're going and destroy this Babylon like how Sodom and Gomorrah got destroyed. Okay. And how Sodom and Gomorrah got destroyed? By fire. That's right. That's right? right? The Lord, the Lord um, basically um, took the elements and, and made, a, made, a, made nuclear missiles and rained it down on ancient Sodom and Gomorrah. But it wasn't actually nuclear missiles. The Lord just rained fire on them. But it's the same elements that he saw have now. Because they go and do the same damage like what Sodom and Gomorrah um, experienced. Because up to now, up to today, nothing can go grow in Sodom and Gomorrah. Yet people don't even know. People still speculating on exactly where it was. And what was going on. You can't find a building there. And this Babylon prophesied to be destroyed that same way. You wouldn't be finding a building there. You wouldn't know nothing what was, which part was who, where, where Washington was from um, New York. You wouldn't know. You know? And that is how this place is going to be destroyed, just like in John Sodom and Gomorrah. And, and, and if I may say, Baba Kusha, it say, um, the Babylon, the, 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 the glorious city of cities. The glorious right? kingdoms, yeah. Can. And we have a quick precept here because you you is the city that everybody look to or look forward to to come at or be there or want to visit there. Okay. This is Ezekiel 38 and verse 11. It says, it says, um, and thou shalt thou shalt see, I will go up to the land of all wall villages, I will go to them that are at rest. That dwell safely of all them dwelling with old walls and having neither bars nor gates. Okay. You know, as the brother was going to say, that means you represent who? Russia. Okay. Which come into your city, America, with these nuclear bombs. They're going to greet you with that kiss. Okay. You know, so hey, we are reaching on my ark here. So that, you know, we give all praises. And I'm glory to you. Basham Yoshai, Basham Rukakodash. Till the next time, I'm Shalom and stay strong. Shalom.